I just wanted to make this tutorial to explain how you can take a transcript like this once it's translated and you can delete all the English lines and in this case there needs to be a space right here and how to create that space with a macro so first you need to get notepad plus plus and you can just type that in notepad plus plus in Google and you can click right there and you can download it. So go ahead and do that. Once you have that, open your file in Notepad++. If you're not getting the characters for your language, then make sure you save it as a Unicode file. Uh, again, the way to do that, say if I have this in Notepad, save as, right down here, putting Unicode. So be sure to do that. Okay, so once you're in Notepad++, you have what's called a macro where you can start recording and it will record anything your keyboard does. Basically you're teaching the computer to walk and take a step and then you're playing it back and it takes a hundred steps for you rather than you saying move your leg here, move your kneecap there, put your ankle like this, take a step and walk. You're, you're just making a macro for that. First one hotkey is control K removes a line actually control L so control L just did that control L boom removes the line so we need to know that so to start this macro I'm gonna do start recording now I'm gonna hit the down arrow I'm gonna hit the down arrow I'm gonna hit control L I'm gonna hit the down arrow and then I'm gonna hit enter now we're gonna do stop recording so this is how we want it and I just recorded a macro doing that in each line. Now, if, if this is a correct SRT file, it should always have just one line of English. It shouldn't be something like that. It shouldn't have that. If it is correct, you can use this uh, macro and run it through the whole file and you'll get it looking perfect. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so let's start it right here. And first I'll just do... Uh, run the macro one time control shift P so watch what happens control shift P notice what it's doing it's doing it now we're gonna run it on the whole thing we're gonna do macro run a macro multiple times run until the end of the file and now hit run and you can see it's just automatically taking the step to save an enormous amount of time now as you can see here it messed up now we scroll up and where did it mess up at? Okay, it went fine until line what? 188. So we're going to do an undo. Now we're going to scroll down to 188. I guess not uh, not line 188, but rather 188 the time code. Let's scroll down here. Okay, what happened here is the Chinese had a break in the line. Let's go ahead and hit back on that. So now we'll go ahead and go all the way to the top again. And we'll click right there and run a macro multiple times. Do I have the dialog box opened? Ah, it was open somewhere else. That's why it wasn't showing up. So run until the end of the file and let's hit run. So it looks like this is going okay so far. No English. And again, it messed up again. So I, I run it to find where it messes up rather than just looking through the whole file. So here it messed up a 216. So we'll scroll down to 216. And all that happened in 216 was there was a space right there. So find another one right there. Let's just look through it real quick. Okay, looks good to go. And uh, again, it's not showing up. Hit Alt Tab, go back, and it shows up. If you have that problem, the dialog box is maybe already open or something. Okay, so it looks like it did it very well. As you scroll up, you're not seeing any lines. Uh, one thing, uh, sorry, you're not seeing any English characters. One thing that I do to proof these. 
when I get them from you guys, the, the translators, I basically just put it to the YouTube video and YouTube will tell me if there's an error with the time codes. So this is pretty much how to do a macro in Notepad++.